This condition requires immediate medical intervention to save a baby's life. So atresias in children is something that happens or present at childbirth. The child with an atresia, meaning a disconnected part of the destine, will not be able to either swallow or have food passing through the intestine. Atresia basically means a blind ending tube. And the atresia can happen in the esophagus, between the mouth to the stomach, or any other part of the intestine. The commoner part would be the duodenum, which is the part just beyond the stomach, the small intestine. There's a blind ending tube there. So we identify atresias in children either antenatally, where there is a dilatation of the intestine uh, on the antenatal scans, or mostly when the child is born. A cervical atresia, although not common, is a atresia of the esophagus, whereby there's a blind ending tube of the esophagus, the top end, and that's identified when the child starts feeding. At the initial feed, they might be coughing up or choking on the feed. When the tube is introduced into the esophagus, it coils up where the blind ending is. And that is diagnostic of a cervical atresia. The other condition is something called duodenal atresia, where there is a blind ending tube at the duodenum, just beyond the stomach. And that is identified again by vomiting, pulling feeds. So this is diagnosed by x-rays, and once diagnosed, both conditions will require surgery. The surgery of choice that I do is laparoscopic or thoracoscopic, whereby small incisions are made in the chest for the cervical atresia or in the abdomen for duodenal atresia. The recovery for laparoscopic or thoracoscopic surgery is significantly better for both conditions compared to open surgery, whereby for the cervical atresia, we require a big cut in the chest or the abdomen for a cervical atresia and duodenal atresia respectively. What's more significant with the cervical atresia is that with no muscle cutting in the chest, there is no long-term risk of chest wall deformity. In the open surgery, where you cut the uh, muscle for the child, what happens in long term is that there can be a pull on that side and there can be a deformity of the chest and the spine. And that is avoided by doing a thoracoscopic cervical atresia repair.